All right, I took the uh, wonderful time of uh, saving you guys from watching this garbage, which is unscrewing a bunch of stuff like most of the other guys that do these videos. So it's already unscrewed. So uh, what normally would be there, because I know what you're looking at, you're looking at, wait, this is not what it looks like for me. This is what it actually does look like. You see? Okay, without the uh, Kleenex. <laughs> okay, so basically I've already d d done the task of getting all the screws out of there and the final screw there. Make sure you get rid of that last screw down there or you'll never get this thing out. And then what you're left with basically is uh, a couple of chips. That is your CPU and that's the socket right there. You're going to want to just loosen that, take the chip out and put your new one in. And the, the new chips will look like this. And on the bottom side, you'll see the pins. Just look for the top where you've got the little arrow. See it? Arrow? The pin layout's just slightly different. And when you look at the zip socket, actually, you can't since the chip is in there. But you'll find that it will match and it'll be an easy fit. So that's it. That's your quick and dirty guide to upgrading your CPU on the Dell Inspiron 1545 and probably most of the other brands. Um, I also mentioned a quick note about up, upping the memory. It is exactly next to the same panel. So you're basically going to look at the machine right like that. You take the panel off and unscrew it, of course, and all that other jazz. And off to the left of the CPU and the GPU, or maybe that's a chipset, uh, you're talking about a couple of DDR2 DIMMs, and uh, these will accept two by twos. So right now there's three gigs in here. You can put two and another two. Scrap the one and you're good to go with four gigs. Um, the machine does run even with that uh, Pentium Core Duo piece of junk in there. Uh, it did run 64-bit Windows, but we're going to really take it to the test with one of these Penryn chips and see what we can do with a 2.4 clock in a machine that was probably never designed to go that high. But you never know. All right, this is Scott. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.